Hi boys and girls, today we're going to be creating a winter landscape. A landscape is a picture of the outside. Start with your pencil and draw a curved line for a hill. Then draw a smaller hill behind it. On the big hill, we're going to draw two tall pine trees. When drawing your branches, try to make them smaller at the top and get larger as you go down. On the hill that's far away, we're going to draw three small pine trees to make them look like they're really far back. Next, we're going to take out our Sharpie and trace over our pencil lines. Then I'm going to take my eraser and erase all the pencil lines that are still showing. These are going to be evening landscapes, so I'm going to create a moon up in the sky. You can do a full moon or a crescent moon. Now I'm going to make footprints in the snow, so I'm going to switch back to using my pencil. These footprints look like boots, but you could also make animal footprints. When you're drawing your footprints, start big and then as you go back into the distance, make them smaller and smaller and smaller. These footprints look like a dog's. Here's some little bird tracks. Before we paint, take out a white crayon and color in your moon. This landscape is a crescent moon. Then use your white crayon to make little dots all around the sky. These will be snowflakes once we paint over them. The wax in your crayons will push the paint away. Now we're going to paint our sky. The first step is to wake up our watercolor. Add a little water to each of the colors. Now 
I'm going to start at the top. I'm using purple, but you can start with any color that you would like. I'm painting stripes across the sky. When you're ready to switch colors, make sure you rinse your brush. These snowflakes are really showing up as I paint over them. The trick is to press dark when you're making your dots. It looks like some of my blue paint is dripping down into the green, but that's okay. That sometimes happens with watercolors, and it looks pretty cool. I think I'll finish my sky with a little bit of yellow. This will make it look like the sun is setting. Don't forget this line where the sky and the snow meet is called the horizon line. I hope you have fun making your winter landscape.